Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 10th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on operators and discuss the bitwise operators as well as the logical operators in Python. Right, so the bitwise operators work on binary numbers or more specifically the bits in the binary numbers, right? So, you know, if you guys are not familiar with the bitwise operations like the AND operation or 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 exclusive OR operations, then, you know, you can Google them up and you can find out more about them. But then, you know, I'll just tell you about these things in brief. So, you know, a true value is one and a false value is zero. And when you perform the AND operation on two bits, then the result is true only when both bits are true right or when both bits are one and uh, if you perform the or operation then the result will be true even if any one of the two bits is true or one right and uh, when you perform the exclusive or operation then uh, the value or the you know result that you get will be true only if the bits are different right so one has to be uh, one and the other has to be zero and you know it doesn't matter which one is one and which one zero right so we're going to see how we can you know perform these operations in python and uh, you know the electronics guys would be more interested in this tutorial because you know th they are the people who do this like you know a lot more than the other guys right so the first thing that i'm going to do is create two variables so i'll name my first variable a and i'll give it the value 15 and i'll call my second one b and i'll give it the value 10 right and uh, let's check out the binary you know uh, values of these two numbers so i'll type in bin and within parentheses the name of the variable a to see the binary value of 15, which is 1111. And 0b, of course, here means that this is a binary value. So it's got nothing to do with the value itself, but then it's just an indication that what follows is the binary value for you know the number 15, right? And then um, I'll check out the binary value of b as well by typing in bin and within parentheses, I'll type in the name of the variable b, and there you go, the binary value or the binary code for b is 1010. So if I want to perform the you know, and operation on A and B, then uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll simply fetch the binary, you know, output of the and operation. So you perform the and operation by typing your first operand and then the ampersand symbol or the and symbol and then the second operand, which will be B. So, you know, if I perform this outside the function, then it will still work. But then st since I'm interested in checking out the binary code of the output, I'll, you know, enclose this within parentheses for the binary function, right? So when I press the enter key now, I see that the result is 1010 and we can verify it whether it is correct or not. So the result of one and zero is zero. And then one and one, since both are one has to be one. And then again here for the third bit from the right, one and zero will result into zero. And then one and one, the fourth bit from the right or the first bit from the left will result into one, right? So the AND operation has worked successfully, correctly. And uh, to perform the OR operation, again, I'll type in the binary function. And within parentheses, the, the OR operator is the pipe symbol, right? So I'll type in A first, and then the pipe symbol, and then B. And uh, when I press the enter key, I see that the result is one, 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 one. And that's because A is all one, right? So if you perform the OR operation uh, between A and any other number, then the result will be, you know, all one, right? And uh, the last bitwise operator that we're gonna check out is the exclusive OR operator. And, uh, you know, uh, the symbol for that is the hat symbol. And you would uh, find it over the key six on most standard keyboards. Obviously you'll have to shift up. So I'll type in BIN and then within parentheses A and then the hat symbol and then B. And this is also known as the exponentiation symbol in some languages. And I hope you guys can locate it on your uh, keyboard. And then when I press the enter key, I see that the result is uh, 0101. And zero has been removed uh, from the leftmost bit because, you know, even if it's there, it's not going to make any, you know, difference to the actual value of the number. So, you know, this, this output is actually 0101, but then you are not seeing the, you know, uh, leftmost uh, zero here, right? So you can verify this uh, one and zero here, the bits are different. So that's where the result is one and here the bits are same. So the result is zero here again, the bits are different. So the result is one. And then at the last position, the bits are same. So that's why the result is zero and hence it, it hasn't been displayed. So that's it about bitwise operators. Now we're going to talk about the logical operators and the logical operators work at the macro level with the true or false values, right? 
So whereas the bitwise operators work on individual bits, the logical operators work on, you know, whole values, right? And they work on true and false values. And in Python, all non-zero numbers are true and only zero is false. So, you know, even negative numbers are true. It's just that only the number zero has the truth value of false, whereas all other numbers have the truth value of true, right? So what I'm going to do is create two variables and I'll again use a and b as the names and I'll assign the value true to a and uh, I'll assign the value false to b. So to perform the and operation on a and b, I'll type in a first and then a and d, the word and, and this is actually the and logical operator. And what you have to make sure is that you provide a space, you know, immediately before and immediately after the and operator, right? So there has to be space on either side and then the second operand, which is B. And when I press the enter key, I see the result as false because as I said, you know, and operation results into true only when both values are true. But in this case, since B is false, the result is false. And to perform the or operation, I'll type in A first and then the word or, and then the second operand B. When I press the enter key, I see the result as true because since A is true, it doesn't matter what B is, the result is obviously gonna be true, right? And uh, the last operator that we're gonna check out is the not operator. And uh, this operator simply reverses the truth value of, uh, you know, uh, of, of a variable. So, you know, A we know here is true. So if I will perform the not operation on A, then in the result, I'll get false. And if I will perform the not operation on B, then in the result, I'll get true because B is false, right? And uh, the not operator here does not change the value of A. So if I, you know, check out what A is, A still is true, but then, if you'll perform the not operation on A, then in the result, you'll get false, right? So that's it about the bitwise and logical operators. In the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about a few more operators and probably wrap up our discussion on operators and you know proceed to some more interesting stuff in Python. And I hope you guys are having fun in the course and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.